was to lose the possession. And the word I think of here is opportunity because it could have been lost there, their chance to score points. But the opportunity for the defense was to go ahead and really close this game down if they were able to get No! Possession. Now the throw here complete on the right sideline. All it was is a fucking drag route. 15 yard line. 19 yards there on the catch and run. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. They'll run on first down with Akers. And he's going to take this one in for a Rams touchdown. Cam Akers with his second touch. They went right down the field. <laughs> My defense uh, didn't give much persistence there. They begin the drive with Johnson. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. First and 10 at the 40 yard line. Now Stafford, and he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. Kenny Galladay, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. That should have been completed. Swift and he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know, I'm probably going to have to pass the ball here. Every attempt. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. From the gun on third down, Stafford. I'm going. To his right. He can run for it, and he will. Pass the 20. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. Well, there you go. That was a that was a game winner right there. Make sure you save it for that exact moment, that key time. And that's what he did, although you and I both know it wasn't planned that way. But what a nice job using his eyes, scanning the field, and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go. They'll run on first down. Swift. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine. I actually don't want to score here. Second and right of the yard. I'll get the first down, but I won't score. Because that'll still give them a chance. Hopefully I won't score. Here's Johnson. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout, their second, as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. I want fucking Neil. A game-winning field goal would be a chip shot from here. Let's see how they play it on first and goal. And they will take a knee and set up what would be a potential game-winning field goal try. Second and goal from the sixth this time. And they'll indeed take a knee. Of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. <sighs> we got this. A little unconventional. 
intentional, but another kneel down here as they work towards a field goal try. Now they get the timeout. It leads you to wonder, will they kick it here or risk running another play and possibly not getting down in time? We'll see. So here's the veteran kicker, Matt Prater. His first attempt of the afternoon, and it's for the win. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. And it's celebration time on that sideline as they have taken the lead in the final seconds. He hasn't missed a kick all year. Why would he start now? <laughs> That's a great question, isn't it? Well, maybe because that was the most nerve-wracking kick he had to attempt <laughs> all year. But he knocked it through just like it was a three seconds. Chip shot. With another return now, here's Westbrook. Damn, what a good game. What a good game. The, the worst start you could imagine. The worst start you could imagine, and we turned it around and won on all Madden difficulty. Whew. Look at that. Keep coming as this one moves him to 12 and 3 on the year. And they'll have another home date next week as the Cincinnati Bengals come to town. Meanwhile, for Los Angeles, it's another loss as they now fall to 4 and 11. And they'll try to rebound next week as they head to Glendale to take on the. It all turned around when Goff threw that interception on, on the zero blitz. Quintez Cephas breakout? Ooh, Dorrance Armstrong's back. Yay. Okay, cool. Good, good, good. What? No. Oh wait, my rush, one of them's gotta be Trey Flowers. Okay, Deshaun Hand is in there. Trey Flowers and Doris Armstrong. Why are all my substitutions messed up? All right, let's check out our Quintez Cephas breakout player goal here. Really appreciate how you involved me in the game plan last week. I know I'm not the best receiver on the team, but I really feel like I could be if I had the opportunity, you know? So keep looking my way this week, Coach. I feel like I'm primed for a big game against the Bengals. Okay, so we have to get Quintez 100 yards. We can do that. That's doable. I don't want to do it early. This is going to have to be like a late game. A late game thing. Or maybe second half. But I will get Quintez Cephas involved.
plus three man coverage. Okay. All right. Let's do our last scouting of the regular season. I really don't need any more power rushers, if I'm being br completely honest. I have a lot of those. All right, get Quintez Cephas involved. We got to get Quintez Cephas involved. DeAndre Swift quietly has like 25 touchdowns this year and like 1,300 yards. He's probably going to win Offensive Player of the Year. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Lions team entering play. They've been cooking these last couple months, winners of seven of their last eight games. And if you extrapolate that out to a full season, they'd be 14-2, and two. and anyone in the NFL today would sign up for that. Meanwhile, for the Bengals here, they've come in on a nice run of recent form, four wins out of five. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Bengals offense here ready to rock it. Joey Burrow. Burrow is the man and quarterback. And you and I both know that any win is a good win. And that's what they did last week. But there's also plenty for him to work on in his game, wasn't there? Yeah. Two touchdowns and interception. Pick. Yeah, you know, he wants to increase that a little bit in terms of ratio. But first and foremost, they did win the game. Single back doubles starting off. They would be wise to feed Joe Mixon because he is really elusive. He's a good back. Gun stack. He's been a huge part of their winning streak because he establishes not just an identity and a tone, but the team relies on it. He takes care of the football. Just like that. And that's been a big part of why they're winning games late. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside. The what a spin 40. move. What a move. That's a pretty good illustration of why they try to get the football into his hands out of the backfield. That was something else. And we talk so much from a defensive perspective about scheming and finding ways to take away the run. That means the offense has to devise different ways to get the ball in the hands of their guy out of the backfield. Find open space, let him run, and big things can happen. And they did right there. And if you look at the next-gen stats, you'll see that he topped out at an even 21 miles an hour. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Get him. And the Lions pressure too strong. Down he goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a doubles you offset you again. Like you got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. 
Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. Now Joe Burrow on third and long. Ha. Nice try, AJ. Nice try, AJ. You are not the dominant number one receiver you once were, buddy. Now the former Terrapin, this is Ty Johnson. He'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. This is the ball carrier. The numbers a week ago for Johnson. 12 carries, 81 yards, and a touchdown. Well, he's the number two runner in the league, and you just know the offensive line wants to get him to number one because most of the good ball carriers, they take care of their linemen. Could be a gold watch in their future if he becomes the leading rusher. Hmm. Interesting. First carry for DeAndre Swift. Oh, yeah. Let's run that four. again. Break him down at the 39. 16 yards of first down. Or not. First and 10 at the 39 or maybe we will. Here with Swift. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the four. Von Bell. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. The throw over the middle, taken in. And he'll be brought down just shy Oh, we have to get Quintez Cephas the ball. Brings up third down. To remember that. Try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 15 yards for the Lions there on a first down. First and 10 at the 37 yard line. They'll run it with Johnson. And he'll be taken down at the 33, a pickup of about four. Here, here. Brad, and all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Now here's a three. And Pascal is the one who's getting open, not Cephas. Another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals 19. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. And the Lions are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. First and goal at the seven-yard line. They go back to the ground. With yeah. Nothing doing. He's Nothing. immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Nothing. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. Here's the jet sweep to Pascal. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. See if I can get Cephas a little TD here. I don't want to force it to him, though. You're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things oh. Perfect. Perfect. He was right in that seam. TJ Hawkinson hitting double Yeah, um, Cephas was covered there. And Pascal was covered, too. One of the keys to their long... All right, D. Let's keep playing. Got to watch out for Joe Mixon. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. They'd love to just...
just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit. After they See, the thing is, our, our interior defensive yeah, line is so much better than their interior play. offensive line. It's almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just so quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. Third down, Burrow. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's they tried the same exact thing again. They tried to hit A.J. Green on the deep the deep coverage. See, the thing is about um, Jeff Okuda is his one of his superstar abilities is uh, deep route or deep out KO, deep deep zone KO or something like that. So basically he knocks out a lot of pa uh, those one-on-one -on -one deep passes. Four verticals, PAD post. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. Oh no. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Logan Wilson. The blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump him for a loss of eight. Is he like a person? All the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. Yeah, it's no, I mean, going to be difficult to get this first down. He's getting a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, Something short, shallow, going through defenders. Pascal is eating today. I love it. That makes things tougher. Guys trying to get to the football. First down at the 34 yard line. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 34. I'm still getting a little too pass happy. I want to go back to the run game a little bit here. Because if there's anything I know, if I get too confident passing. Start make, taking risks that I wouldn't normally take. They run out of the gun with Swift. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Well, I tell you what, when you get a running back who can move like that in the open field, that's something to take advantage of, and they certainly did there. They stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. On second down, Johnson. Oh, my God, Ty. Well done. Well done. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he's going to take it in for a flying touchdown. DeAndre Swift with touchdown number 27. <laughs> that ties Priest Holmes for the third most in a single year. And the Lions are able to grow their lead. It's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. Score, force a punt, score again. And both drives were impressive. The opening drive was that. Last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind. Zach Pascal is eating today. Got to keep it up with him. But obviously, we do need to get Quintez Cephas involved somehow. I just don't want to force feed him because then I'm going to commit a turnover. Jet sweep to start the drive, and he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Tyler Boyd's a really good player. Defense is always I like him a lot. Right to rush the passer on third down, and you know what offenses want? Win first down, so they can set things up for themselves better. And that wasn't a big impact on first down. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Well, these guys have definitely been played in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they're having panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, 
And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Mixon with a first down carry. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He was looking for his favorite target, A.J. Green, that time. And now it's second down. It's so good to have Dorrance Armstrong back. He's such a good rusher. Joe Burrow. And his throw here is incomplete. T. Higgins was the intended target. And it'll bring up third down. Third down. And 10 yards to go. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. They'll set up the screen here to mix it. No. And he'll go out of bounds right away. That was the perfect play call for that for that defense, but they didn't get it. If they're going to blitz that corner right over Galladay, I'm going to send Galladay straight up. A shotgun snap for Stafford. And he'll find Galladay. That's complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the I think that was silver. No, overload seam. It was either a silver shoot pinch or that. Yards the play. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he'll be taken down near the 20 at the 21. Defensively, Sam Hubbard, the former Buckeye, there to stop him. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Stafford going to give it to Swift. He's got the first down inside the 10. And he takes this one in for the Lions touchdown. Swift with his 28th touchdown. I just ran right for the pylon. For the second most in a single year. And the Lions add on to their lead. Single back wing. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. From the gun on third down is Burrow. Oh, he dropped it. Burrow made the throw. He just dropped it. <clears throat> what? Okay, they still have a punt. About to say, 
Don't do that to me. 